So, salsa verde. Not the kind that you're thinking, not the kind that goes on a taco. French, very, very French. You see, if anything, I would consider salsa V, salsa verde, more of a pesto. A very loose pesto, I would say. And while the one that I'm making is not very traditional, I'd like to think that the flavors are still there. Mine consists of some hard herbs like rosemary, thyme. Got the garlic cloves, capers, fiend herbs. Fiend herbs, just means soft herbs, basically. Now the lemon juice is always a given, you know? It has the nice tartness. And I, I would say just do this to taste. Um, there's no like specific amount that I'm gonna give you. This whole thing is generally eyeballed for me. and. You know, I'm just gonna go off of taste here. You can throw in the zest as well. Usually it's red wine vinegar, but I love rice wine. So rice wine is going in here, along with a big glug of olive oil. I'd say like a five glugs, salt and pepper to taste in there. What else was I getting? What else, what else, what else? That's right, I'm missing uh, anchovies. I don't have them, so. I'm just gonna use some good old fish sauce, you know? Still, we're working with the base flavors here. So I'm just gonna do like a couple squirts of the fish sauce in there. Even though I'm gonna use all of this, I'm putting it in another container just to show you. Just to show you the consistency of what I'm looking for here. So as you can see, it's it's like a pesto basically. Uh, usually salsa verdes are like a little thinner than this, but for what I'm doing, this is how I want it. Okay. Oh God, it smells so good. Let's taste it. Yeah, that's what I want. Here's one of my all time favorite knives that I picked up from Fire Horse Forge. Thank you so much. Freaking gorgeous, I love this thing. So look, here is something that I wanna go over. Before the holidays, uh, we're gonna do prime rib roast, but not with prime rib. Check this out. Look at this freaking marbling. How insane is this? What we have here is Wagyu chuck roll. Yes, chuck roll. You guys know anything about that? Chuck roll is one of the cheapest, I'd say humblest cuts that you can get. And it's funny because it's a humble cut, yet we got a Wagyu cut. Thanks to Pursuit Farms, this is freaking stunning. Just look at this. So what I thought would be interesting is to do is to do a roast that is usually done with a more expensive cut. The prime rib, come on, that stuff's expensive. This is meant to be a humble cut, yeah, it's Wagyu, it's expensive. This is like $75 a pound, this is four pounds, do the math. So what I have here, it's just sitting out for about an hour and a half. It's really big, so I need it to come to temp. And I'm gonna marinate it in this salsa V. We're gonna marinate in the salsa beef. Okay. I got some salsa verde all over my lens. Clean you guys up real quick. Beautiful. So now, the salsa verde is gonna go all over this. And there we go, it looks like Christmas already, okay? So, you can go ahead and let this marinate for a couple hours or even preferably overnight. Um, I wanna make this video today, so I'm gonna throw it in the smoker right now. Fat side up. Now I think it's only fitting to do some smoked black pepper if we're gonna smoke it. Smoked black pepper, don't sleep on this guy, spiceology.com, check it out, okay? This is gonna add a nice smokiness on top of the smoke that we're doing. Now if you don't have a smoker like me, Go ahead and toss it in the oven, cook it the normal way. I'm gonna just roast this off, or sorry, I'm gonna smoke this off. Now, while that's smoking outside at low heat, I'm gonna start up this oven here at 500 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna toss it in. We're gonna do what's called a reverse sear so we can get a nice hard crust on there without overcooking it.
can see it's got a nice color from the smoke. Got a crust on it belt. Just gonna stick it into this 500 degree oven. Let that go. Now time for some much needed GTA. Look at that gorgeous meat. Damn, this smells so freaking good. Nice crust, beautiful looking crust on this thing. Now at this point, we're just gonna let it chill out. Dang, look at how juicy this is. That's my kind of bite right there. I made some of my own horseradish sauce. Horsey sauce. Let's try this out. Oh man, that's money right there. You guys, you gotta order some of this meat. It's so freaking good. I could eat this all day. You guys want the recipe? Let me know. I'll see you later.